Good evening, everybody. It is storming outside, thunder and lightning, all that good stuff. What better to... It's the middle of... Well, it's the start of October. I'm going to be playing some Faith. Now, this game... I have actually, uh... I actually first witnessed this game on a live stream that Vi uh, that Vinny of Vine Sauce was doing. And uh, it actually spoke to me pretty good when I first saw it. September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Faith Deluxe Edition. Alright, Moonlight Sonata. Not a bad pick. Oh, actually, you know what? No. I'm gonna cross the road and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of an Easter egg. I don't remember how many, how far you have to walk, but eventually you run into a figure and you can later pick up a clown nose. And correct me if I'm wrong. Ooh. I just saw a flash of lightning outside. But, um, I think this game actually came out at the same, uh, the same October that all those crazy clown sightings were happening. Yeah, see, there it is. Escape. Yeah, and then we can see our inventory. And we got Gnosis, which is Latin for nose. Oh! Oh, we lost some nose, but eh, it was a cool easter egg anyway. Not necessary to complete the game. Always look both ways before you cross the street, kids. No, you. Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree looked like it was from dying. All the needles are falling off. It need uh, all the needles are falling off it, and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She is totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that her, she found something she's passionate about. But I've gotten uh, ugly looks from some of the women at the book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. Let me know how the audio is. Um, I think it's a tad loud. Well, we can't exercise it, so I guess we're just gonna let chaos reign. Alright. No you! See? The cross works just like the Uno reverse card. They have to leave when you hold it up. You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday, Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions. Turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Okay. Well, we're at the well, so... No, you... Oh, 
Didn't we just do this dance? All right. Locked, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna turn that down just a tiny bit. Let's drag it down to, say, 35% of volume. Got some Halloween candy. Wait, what? This is a different, uh, screen, so obviously we're making progress towards something. Oh! Okay, guess it's not omnidirectional. So yeah, the cross is not omnidirectional. We're gonna have to keep that in mind. I guess no trail mix until I can get inside the house. So yeah, just go two squares north from the well. I've already read those notes. Maybe if we go this way instead. I have a bit. <laughs> oh wow, it's going after the deer instead. Okay. Now that I have a body of the pig line is actually a reference to a uh, viral paranormal video. And what do we have here? I never could figure out what this was supposed to be. Like, is it just a circle of stones? Public lecture by Carl James O'Born Osborne. Connecticut's historical connections with witchcraft, uh, Satanism, and the beast system. Wednesday at 8 p.m. Martin's house lies about half a hundred yards off of Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. Trees just jut out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Alred... Alred? Alvard? Al... I, I can't tell if that's a Y or an R. Allied seems to know where he's going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Allied uh, explained that he would rather perform... Oh, so it's an R. Uh, Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with the elements of the right that may seem harsh to the lay person. Um, I forget. Can we go inside? Yes, we can. Oh, and we get, we get that key and that fucker's gonna try and jump us. Alright, just wait... Yeah, I thought. So we have the key to the house, but let's see if we can find some other um, points of interest around the forest. A puddle. 
I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just the regular adults. They told me that they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of the storage. Okay, so like an old Atari game, if you walk so many directions, this way or that way, it'll loop back in on itself and you'll end up at the same place you started. That's why it's best to like do, uh, to walk north, south, east, or west from points of interest and just keep going. If you're looking, if you're looking to make discoveries. Oh, yeah. So you might be wondering, why did I use the intro music that I had? Well, it's because back in around 2019, I actually had a uh, nightmare about going to exercise an old house. And um, I actually bailed out of the window mid-exorcism uh, mid uh, and got some, uh, got some extra gear from my, uh, the back of my car. And while I was doing that, Holy Diver was playing uh, in the dream. So I decided, you know, might as well open with that, since that's what we're doing right now. Oh, now this is interesting. Can we read these graves? One of them. Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected to registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The, uh, the, in, the inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best, Daryl Henderson. State of Connecticut Historical Society. Now that's interesting. We wandered left and somehow ended up at the tree. And then we wandered so yeah, I don't I don't understand how any of this works. So we don't have anything where we can reread notes that we found. I wonder if the Steam version that's coming out in a couple of weeks will do that. Alright, well, let's just go into the house. I don't know what song that is that's playing, but that is off-putting. Shit, the girl even looks like the girl from The Exorcist before she got possessed. Mr. Mar uh, Mr. and Mr. Blech. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front of the por at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. 
it is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Oh, there's a secret boss involved with this. I'm trying to remember how you do it. I might look up a guide. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to pause and look up a guide for that secret boss. Because that thing's cool. It's crazy. And uh, it is never explained. It's not in the sequel, at least. But it's super cool. So we can't get we can't do that encounter until we fight until we um get the gun with one bullet, the hunting rifle. I know I said the music that we heard upon entering this place was off putting, but I'm not sure that there being no music was any better. Can I exercise the lamp? Nope, no demons in the lamp. No gin. Well, that's uh, certainly a drawing. If my child drew that, I would be deeply concerned. I would talk to both the police and my pastor. Let's see what's going on upstairs. Nope, no demonic gym equipment. That's interesting. Why does this bathroom have three sinks? Bob must be st stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask An Anesh about it next time we have a book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think it's that she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, uh, when I got up there it was freezing cold. I found Amy station, er, standing in the back looking straight at me like when I was first m uh, met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of depression from the de 
deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and in the other instance spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Well, if that was Amy's room, whose room is this? Okay, well we can't get in that we can't get in that door just yet. Let's head down to the basement. It's the one place we haven't explored yet. Dear Amy, thanks for waiting uh, for writing. It really brightened my day of hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice kimbamba. 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 It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints uh, they worship is Saint La Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday we talked to a boy about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said no, but I have prayed to Saint La Muerte. He told us about the time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and act according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, Muerte, and uh, the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to our church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. I'll see you in four months, L Leighton. I wonder if it's Professor Leighton. No. Although that would be funny, Professor Layton existing in the same universe as Faith. Incredibly odd, though, I guess. Whoa. Yep. Amy's parents could not endure the witnessing the proceedings of the rite for long. Mr. and Mrs. Martin... Or no, Mrs. Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off her off of the fear. Father Alred asked me to f take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother! Mother! The whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the table. Finally, I got down, uh, them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement. So I went down there to check on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Oh, that's not good. No. Back. What? This part of the game always confused me. How did what happened to us? How did we go from basement to bedroom? Why are we in some uh, why are we in the bed? What happened?
Wait, did anyone else see that? I would have sworn I saw those red markings. Yeah, there they are! Get back! Oh, great, that's not good. Yes, I did, and I apologize for that. That's why I'm here to make things right. It's that thing again. Okay, I think we have to do this a certain number of times uh, before the basement unlocks. No, you. You get out. Yeah, there it goes. And I think the uh, demonic assaults will stop for now so that we can go up to the attic and face her properly. Karen, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want to hear I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She was my she my superior father with when I confronted her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents with their own I'm gonna I'm gonna use my imagination here and say that she killed her own parents, uh, and strangled them with their own intestines. I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are all uh, are real. She is still there waiting for me. I can still heal her. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry, John. That's a page from our character's diary. What's it doing here? Oh, that can't be good. Well, we got a checkpoint. My God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She died, priest. Get out. What? Mortis. Okay, oh take two. What happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. I don't remember that black shadow showing up. There we go. Your face is gone. What the fuck? Oh. Well, at least we got a checkpoint. And then she bum rushes you. Let's t let's try that again. No, you don't. Okay, dodge, stun. Nope. 
Now she's gonna come from. Get out of her. Good. Progress. Now she's gonna bolt around the thing, and I don't remember what you do at this part. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, that's right. More. Now, you don't want to be inside the center of that thing when that goes off. That's just bad news right there. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this stage of the fight. Sure, it looks cool, but you move so slow. I can only sidestep so fast, you know? Run. Yep. Yep. Now, there is a pattern, thankfully, that we can follow. And you don't want to be inside that circle when that happens, trust me. Because she will lunge you. Oh, whoa, 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 shit. Uh oh. Get out of her. Now. Now, get away. We've beaten her. <laughs> this house is not clean. <laughs> not yet. The good news is we won't be randomly attacked during this part. Kill her. No, I don't think I will. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this right. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. A dog with one bullet. Now the good news is, um, I think we can save. No. Okay, once more. A dog with one bullet. And because this game is so short, I think we can play through all of the endings. I'll do them from what I remember being worst to best. Oh great, I can't see it. That's very not good. I don't know what that thing is, but I know demonic when I see it. What? 
December 30th, 1986. Oh, this is peak satanic panic years right here. Dear Dr. Mac McGlashan, McGlashan? Ugh. Dear Mr. I can't pronounce that because... Yeah, dear Mr. I can't pronounce that. It has been 30 days since the beginning of my treatment here at Yale Psychiatric Institute. Dr. Spinal, who has been so patient with me, has helped me understand my afflictions and has helped me find a way to move forward and accept the truth. With Dr. Spinal's help, I have come to accept what really happened in September at the Martin residence. I accept that what happened was not the result of my supernatural of any supernatural phenomenon, but rather the, des the desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her dogmatic parents and the old church rituals that are thought to drive out evil. I am happy to report that since accepting the truth, my nightmares have ceased and I now enjoy a peace of mind that I have not felt since the incident. Given my own progress since first coming here, I respectfully request that my re release from Yale Psychiatric Institute uh, contingent upon follow-up appointments with Dr. Spinal in the future. Sincerely, John Ward. Yes, the guy we're playing as. However, given what we found, given what we fought to find that, I think there is supernatural activity going on. I think what happened between that, between the end of the exorcism, John stay in the hospital, and now, the nightmares have returned, and I think that John has come here as a means of coming to terms with what happened. So we're going to do the worst ending first. You can probably guess what the worst ending is. bunch of raisins stuck together. Man, this is so weird. We're gonna be arrested. We're gonna be so arrested. Yep, there it is. Murderer. <laughs> Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man is in custody after the, he confessed to the murder of a sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Palmyra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought that it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that he was... that, that there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now-abandoned Martin home. 
In addition to the receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of a second-story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he pulled over. It, uh, when he was pulled over, it is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust. After the Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister, the rest of the article is missing. Now, thankfully, we do get. This, um, we get a checkpoint here. A dog with one bullet. Now, what I find, what I'm not sure about is whether that's the Vatican throwing Martin under the bus, saying he's not an ordained minister. Um, because I believe that he is a priest. He was involved in the exorcism before. That much we know, that much is certain. Um, this reser this uh, exorcism was not, however, approved by the Vatican. Okay, so there's the tree. Now we're going to do the second worst ending. Whoops. with one bullet. <clears throat> Alright, we're at the second worst ending, take two. That doesn't look good. And listen to that music distort. Game over, three, ending 3 of 5, The Offering. Hello, Amy. I am sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It is hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you are only 17, but you are clearly an adult and you are able to do handle your own life. Do not let people, uh, your mom and dad, stop you from following your dreams. If there's anything I can do to help you, just let me know. We are having a get-together at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you a part of the team, even if your mom and dad do not. 
We hope to see you there. Gary. Man, that's... That's real. That's weird to think about. <laughs> My grandfather's name was Gary. Is Gary. And, uh... Oh, come on. Fucking space boy. Damn you, muscle memory. But yeah, my grandfather's name is Gary. Thinking of, uh... Granddad's not evil. He's far from evil. Um... So, seeing a villain named Gary, that's just, like, weird to me. It's, like, alien, almost. Um... Alright, now we're gonna do the second... The third worst ending. No. No, not that one. That's what I consider the second best ending, actually. And it's not good. It's just, like, the least... It's the second least bad of the three. Yeah, here we go. Oh, I, do I not? Okay. There's a reference to Organ Trail involved in this ending, and I'm, uh, I, I actually was a big fan of that growing up. I wonder if it shows up in, like, the newspaper article. Because each ending gets one, or the letter. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror. This is why people don't like deers in real life. Those who, di those who uh, think deers are cute and adorable and, uh, and lovable have never lived near one. Deers are fucking assholes. Now granted, we, uh, killed one of them, still. Game over four of five. The Hunter. Unidentified body was discovered near a wrecked car. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along a road near Sterling this morning. Along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an accident along Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver of a silver sedan had a silver, or no, had swerved off the road and struck a tree. A spokesman for the police com commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car, deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the front windshield. Holy crap! Do you know how hard it actually is to get something to fly through the front of the windshield? Those things are damn tough. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect this was probably the work of coyotes. Police also noted that parts of, the, of a cleaned white-tailed deer, cleaned white-tailed deer, were found in the trunk of the car. From a white-tailed deer, a hunter typically sets 75, gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears that the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. <laughs> There's the Oregon Trail reference. With 
Oh yeah, one other thing I forgot to mention when we and when we got the uh, secret boss fight and the note from it. That boss was dropped by a demon. Like there's no two ways about it. What we fought in that in that room, that secret room behind the mirror was a demon. So it leaves the authenticity of the note up to question. Okay, shadow figure. Time to die. Well, if it bleeds, we can kill it. I will send up the war. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid. Father and Son. That's an interesting name. Esteemed Cardinal G uh, Gifford. With all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a critical time. There is another reason... Uh, why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let them see him. The darkness inside of him afflicts his soul, but it also curse causes a terrible strain on his body, so that th there may be no mistaking what ha I mean. I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of the our sessions. The photograph is missing. Damn it, muscle memory. Okay, don't press space to make the thing go away. There. And now, the good ending. I go willingly. Oh, shit. I forgot about that part. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him. Therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Ending 5 of 5, When Faith Endures.
Police animal experts investigate chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near the Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a, mo by a mo motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them they, appear uh, they appeared to be of a person after arriving at the scene. Police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. Little did they know that was correct. It was a person. That was Michael. Whatever happened to Michael, and I don't, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that my, oh, you know what, Michael's the, uh, brother of the, uh, girl we were trying to exercise. Man, these two kids. This whole family. No one should have to go through that. As a matter of public safety, we wanted to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said the Sterling Police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners, or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts have attached to the investigation. Uh, oh, animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Well, that's that then, folks. Now, for Faith Chapter 2. What time did we start this at? 6.38, and it is now 7.38. Wow, okay, yeah. Library, Faith Chapter 2. Let's do this. Oh, right! OBS needs to be on, uh... No, that's that's not what I want. Um There we go. Oh wow, uh, coming soons, huh? New game. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davis from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davis have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. Cardinal Gifford. Can I grab my Bible? I have a feeling I'm going to need that. No. Day one. So this is Michael. Uh, this is the prologue. Um, this is Michael, the thing that we we shot. Yeah, three months. Jeez. How are we doing today, Michael? Uh, 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 you talk to Hoda till you get better, Michael. Uh, 
Yep, there's the you know nothing. Oh shit. What? Did it blind me? Little son of a bitch blinded me. Whoa. Damn, this place has been completely overturned. Oh shit, he's eating a person! Dios mio, what have you done? I have the body of a pig! You can tie it to a boat, Evo. You shall bring the wrath of the Almighty. So yeah, prologue. It's 2 a.m. Ooh! Deer carcass impaled on tree branches! I had a feeling. Notice. The current investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, the surrounding woods, any wildlife, and any unidentified persons roaming the area. Thank you for your patience. Yep, and we're gonna go on right ignoring that. Save. Dearest disciple, verily not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure your his demon. You must first conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must then we walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessings of the unspeakable. Return to the saved family tomb whenever you are in need of rest. Gary. Enter the spirit house. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to... Whoa. Okay. And you notice now, the gates have opened. He got me. Mortis. Yep, there it is. What? So you mean to tell me it didn't save when we... Never mind. But let's go in there and save again. Just so that way we don't have to deal with the cutscene again. It's interesting to think how this game changed during development. 
Because the first demo that was released of Faith 2 was very different. Dang it! That fucking fog, I tell ya. Round three, fight! Oh, come on. Is it just me, or does the cross uh, have a bit weaker range this time? I don't know, it feels like the cross has a lower radius than it did before. We are using a different cross. Oh, come on! Oh no you don't, you little shit. Got him. Guess I had to play aggressively. Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I've ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to see your grandpa again? I missed him so much, I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friend's house. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there, only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they crossed the basement door. Oh, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are well, always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. What? Hmm. Interesting. Because, yeah, in the, uh, I mentioned earlier this game is different from the uh, demo that came out. The demo came out, um, it was much more Children of the Corn type setting. You had, like, whole cornfields, and then you had to get inside of a church. It was weird. Uh, this game somehow gets weirder than that. Um, it is with great sadness that the community... Oh, that the Sterling community announces the passing of Cindy Marnie... Or... Cindy Marie Martin. Um, uh, 38 and Robert Kimball Martin, 40, devoted husband and wife and beloved parents. Their lives tragically came to an end on September 21st uh, due to an accident in their home. Bob was under a training advisor for the United States Navy and Cindy was a CPA and more recently a stay-at-home mom. They were married March 12th 1969 in Voltown uh, Volton Town 
Though not particularly religious, they thought their children they taught their children to be kind, generous, and involved in the community. A public closed casket memorial will be held at traditional at Tillinist Funeral Home at 10 a.m. Thursday. Burial services will be will proceed shortly thereafter. Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter Amy and twin boys Nate and Jason. Oh, okay. So, Michael isn't related to the Martins. That's interesting. What? Oh, I'm an angel? Uh, no you're not. You are a salamander from the looks of it. Ah, uh, don't... Crap. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't save. Oh, thank god. Checkpoint. <laughs> I was really scared there for a second. <laughs> no. Bad demon. Stay where you are. Better yet, leave this place. I'm an angel. I'm just gonna... Yeah, there we go. Nope, 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 you're not touching me. You're gonna stay right where you are. Vile nature. What was that? Did it say vile nature? Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant. Not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see the strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big warm smile. Somehow it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again cr across the street from the doctor's. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was walking and was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. Oh, that's not good. Knowing this game, Gary is very much a Jim Jones type. But I think we'll get more information on that in the third game. Wait a minute. Two eyes are red. Uh, two of the skull's eyes are red. Two are missing. Uh, two are not. And there's only one person here left now. The only path we have now is north. What? What? Okay, so what happens if we just go north? Does it loop on us forever? Yeah, it does. What if we go left or right? Okay.
Well, there's only other one other place we can go. And that's here. Now I really don't know what to do. Well, we can't... Or we can. That's... different. Nope, that's just a tree. For some reason, it seemed a bit different from the others. I do believe I am lost. Oh, I forgot to do the thing. I better set the game. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. We've gone in every direction we can go. What else can be done? Let me tab out and check the wiki or guide really quick. Okay. I know what we need to do, and uh, I'm angry that this isn't very well hinted at. Right. Up. left up and then up again Aha! Stay back! No, you won't. Wait a minute, that's a note down there. I had almost missed that. I've been freed. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding in uh, my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. 
They'll never laugh at me again. By day, my body withers away, but by night, my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge, guided by beings of pure darkness. I have been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon's seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks. Arranged in five. First at the top left point, and then down. I will lure them into the, into the woods, then I will show them my power. That's not good. Save the game. John, why are you jamming the key into your eye, my dude? that, the rest of it becomes visible. What the shit was that? Was that an Ent? Last time I checked, Tolkien monsters don't, er, creatures, don't exist in this universe. What? No. No! Oh, you fucker! Did the game crash? Yeah, the game crashed. I am not happy about that. Not in the slightest. What happened? Well, there it is. Winners don't use drugs. That's funny. Okay, good. We're back where we were. There we go. She guards the door to underground purgatory. I hath not seen her. Children fear her. Corn. Confess thy sins.
Day one of our paranormal investigation into the old Snake Meadow Hill Church. We've got three ca uh, cameras, a box of tr tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. Our, on our way in here, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we had heard before. Evil spirits dragging children into the conf uh, confessional and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this spindly, uh, spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently, it has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who was used, uh, who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was even an old rhyme they told us: "Walk the church from room to room, and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her." Awesome. We're going to try the game tonight as soon as we get settled in. Are you kidding me? It's not responding. There it is. Night three. Shouldn't have come here. Tape's missing. Lars stuck in the back and behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. I have a Pray for me, Father, for I have said. What seeks have you yet to your face? I try to save a girl from evil, but my fear so overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry and broke my vows to God. A year later, the girl reached out to me again, but in the end, I couldn't save her. I left her to die. I am sorry for me and my past sins. Thou hast said will. Here is my penance. Read the child to me. Perform the set of the attrition. And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to the Lord for his good. For his mercy endures forever. forever. Creepy. Night 1. We still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession booth. Leading to this hallway, Henry's going into town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if we can't get those boards off of someone. Wait. We'll see if we can't get these boards off of some of the doors. Uh, but that's not even the best part. We caught an EVP. You can't hear it on tape very well, but to us it kind of sounded like laughing. Thank God we brought uh, the nice mic. We'll review it and get. Uh, we'll review it on the sound gear once we get back into town. Now, the interesting thing about this game is that it has. <coughs> Unlike the first game, not all of its endings can be reached in the um, at the same point. Let me check my window, uh, my uh, real quick.
Oh, I messed up. Okay. Um. We already lost. We already lost our qualifications for the th for the secret ending. Uh, it is the worst ending though. So you know what? Yeah. Hopefully the game didn't save. If it did, we'll have to be committed and just replay for the secret ending. Secret worst ending. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright, we'll do the be we'll do the uh, endings from best to worst, then, in that case. Or whatever order. Did anyone else see that? Oh, come on! My controls aren't responding anymore. Alright, well, well, we'll be patient. Okay, there we go. Night two. We're gonna be rich. We've got some supernatural stuff on camera before, sure. Uh, doors opening on their own, things falling off of shelves, but nothing like this. Tonight, while we were trying to send the spindly lady game again, one of the candles on the floor lit up by itself. As soon as Lars walked into the room, it was nuts. And we've got it all on film. We're gonna make a fortune selling this one to the TV stations. Yep, definitely saw something there. Secret passage, most likely. That doesn't look right. Okay. That looks even worse. It's funny, the uh, third chapter is coming out the day after Vampire Hunters uh, exits beta. Because Vampire Hunters is going out of beta in on the 20th, and Faith Chapter 3 is coming out on the 21st. Oh, that's not good. That effect only occurs when there's a demon nearby, and a strong one at that. Well, I'm lost.
I wonder what this room right here was supposed to be. Oh great, my controls have stopped responding again. Wait, weren't these crosses all on the floor earlier? Yes. I had to come back. I had to walk through the corn one last time. I wasn't sure what I would find. The dogs, the children, the thing that took them. It had been five years. I couldn't have even found I couldn't even find the little graves anymore. I just walked into the field until I found that stupid grinning scarecrow. As I listened to the night wind blowing through the corp crops, it was like the scarecrow was mocking me. I turned around to go back and that's when I heard it. Behind me. Well, it was more like I felt it. I didn't dare turn around. We just stood there. Me and the scarecrow and the doomed child. Finally, I mustered up the tiny bit of courage I had and turned to look at it. It immediately fled from the opposite direction, crashing through the cr rows of corn. Ran, th I ran too. What little I saw of it drained the blood from my face and made my skin crawl. I say it because when I, whatever I was looking at didn't have a face, just a bloody gaping hole. That was Amy! That was Amy Martin! She's here! Well, first I'm able to find you. Hmm.
All right, back to the guide. The video guide. Okay. Whatever we're supposed to be doing, it looks like we were supposed to head to the, um... Head back inside. Oh, it's not quiet anymore. Something's changed. Really? Really, game? This is a really obnoxious glitch. I wonder if in the Steam release that'll be fixed. Hopefully. Okay, I really don't know.
Okay, okay. You know... This really should have been explained better. There we go. Oh, and I'm dead. Lovely. Yeah, the rules are not very well explained. So the way it works is one candle means you're in the same room as her. Um, candles like this, one is your position, one is hers. We are the bottom candle. She is, uh, she is one over. She's up one now. She's here. No, you. You're a heretic. And with that, we have opened the secret passage. Darkness surrounds thee. Okay. Apparently the controls stop responding if you, tran if you walk between the rooms too quickly. This is my final memoir, hastily scribbled on the page, on a page of the good book. I now descend the staircase, knowing full well that she waits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here, as we know it on the surface. Even now, the hands don't move past two o'clock. God's work be done. I haven't been to where only the faintest light shines and protect from the light, uh, things unspeakable. God help me. Father Clark, a foolish old man, going, in, going mad in this dark prison, ears bleeding from the screams of the demon. This must be Father Clark here. Sigils. Oh, that's not good. And I'm dead. Great time. A great time was had by all. We can leave now, but can we...
Oh! Oh, it's a map! Okay! Oh, crap. Didn't, didn't like me tabbing out like that. Okay, I think I understand. Let me tab out real quick. Mother of Demons. Oh, like that thing at the end of Doom 64. If that's what we're dealing with, we're going to need a bit more firepower than just a crucifix. Whoa, what have we here? Three murdered in latest wave of in, of ritualistic killings. Sterling Khan. The bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night. In call uh, in what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Atwood, Angel no uh, Nogales, and Troy Engels are the names of the unfortunate victims who were apparently stabbed mutil uh, multiple times and beheaded before being killed in a paganistic ritual. Pandemonium re uh, region, uh, two of the victims' bodies 
were also partially burned, although authorities would not specify who. The bodies were found several miles from Gallup uh, cemetery, uh, cemetery, where residents re uh, reported a tomb had been des desecrated. They also found trails of blood leading off into the woods. Investigators would not comment whether or not these two incidents could be related. The arrangement of the ri of the bodies in a ritualistic pattern, as well as writing of certain symbols in blood, matches the style of several murders that have occurred in the Sterling area since 1986. The killings may be connected to last week's burial. Oh no, brutal slaying of Amy Martin. A 17-year-old girl by John Ward. What? Ward had impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust. Before. What? Before investigators are asking residents to report any suspicious activity to the police, authorities are urging the people of Sterling to not mourn the loss of Atwood, Nogels, and Engels because, after all, they were de degenerate devil worshippers thugs who were hooked on crack cocaine and hated their parents. Why even, condu uh, why even conduct an investigation at all? That's what you would like them to think, wouldn't you, John? They were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did the community a favor when you found them getting high in that tomb, the graves, w and, ki uh, and killed them one by one. You ignored their cries for help, their pleas for mercy. You put holes in their ruined, drug-addicted bodies. Then you chopped off their heads, because everybody knows that removing the head is the only way to kill a, de a snake. Well, guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what cannot be killed. Thou shalt not raise up what thou cannot put down again. Thou could not kill Amy. Thou, could, thou shalt not destroy my works. For they are the works of the eternal dragon. Even now she is at thy door, her hand is at thy throat, yet you see her not. I will have thy soul for him. I am the god of this world. Pandemonium rage in Satani. Vide pandemonium rage in Satani. No, I'm not, I'm not chanting that. Miss me with that garbage. Chaos reigns Satan. Caden is quite fond of the chaos reigning, apparently. Of course. I am here, John. It's an ambush. So I'm a demonic spider now. Fun times. And I'm a man again. That's cool. Candy tunnel. <laughs> nope, I ain't doing that, chief. That ain't happening. Well, we're not getting out that way. Guess we're going through the candy tunnel after all. Death awaits. Yeah, no shit. With a name like Candy Tunnel, that's the foregone conclusion. What the hell is that?
razor, shit in sleeping bag. Multiple officers wounded, one dead in sewer tunnel shootout. Law enforcement officials are reporting multiple officers down, including one deputy who was fatally wounded after an exchange of gunfire in the sewer tunnels near Snake Meadow Hill Road, also known as the Candy Tunnel. Witnesses say they heard the shots approximately 10 minutes after police raided the tunnels, where suspected murder Joe ba Bauman... Yeah, Joe Bauman, a.k.a. the candy sn store killer, was alleged to be hiding. At, th at this time, it is not known how many officers have been wounded, although it has been confirmed that one officer has been killed. Officials are not saying if Bauman was wounded in the exchange, and efforts are being made to recover the casualties from the tunnels. I'm going to guess that this is Bauman right here. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it says Ale Star, not All Star. Never mind. You know what? My controls aren't responding again. This game's an asshole. Faith Chapter 1, that's fine. Ch chapter 2, though? Eat a dick. Satan lives. Inverted cross. Oh, hell no. No way, Chief. Read. When don't uh, when you don't move Oh, you know what? I missed something earlier. Nico. Two more dead discovered outside Candy Tunnel near Sterling. Two more bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch under Snake Meadow Hill Road outside Sterling, the notorious candy tunnel known in the area to be a home to addicts, gangs, runaways, and the indignant, has been the, st the site of several grisly discoveries over the past three months since May. Five bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch leading to the tunnel. Authorities are being pressured by concerned citizens to search the tunnels aimed amid fears of a possible connection to the Joe Bauman, a.k.a. the Candy Store Killer, who has claimed eight victims in Connecticut and Rhode Island over the past year. Aqui. Pretty sure that's water. Don't know why someone scribbled that on there. Wait, what? 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 What kind of Mobius strip sewer system is this?
when you don't move. When you see it, don't move. When you see it, don't move. Okay. Thanks for the warning, game. It was nice of you to spell that out for me. I probably wouldn't have guessed that either. Pelo. I don't know what it means, but that's how it's pronounced. Pelo. Okay, going into the draining di drainage ditch. This music, this music is incredibly off-putting. To uh, this is far as I'll go to hide my stash. Nobody goes past the first pipe. Nobody except the strange people with their bodies painted red and their eyes like animals. Twice a month they come and pass right through into the deeper tunnels. Sometimes I can hear them yelling or chanting. Sometimes I can hear something like an old woman laughing. Sometimes I hear things that aren't even human. Whatever they are, they sound really, really big. Oh, and the controls have stopped responding. Thank you, game. That was very cool. I will not bless you, child. Well, the good news is the cross was able to scare off whatever it was that was coming to stab us. Wait, wait, wait. Do these all lead up somewhere? No, only that one does. Oh, the, uh, the ambience is real. This place feels different. Whoa, yeah. Okay, that's not good. Actually, I should probably read that. I'm sorry, God. Please save me. Oh, that, that, that is some Silent Hill 4 shit. I ain't going in there. Nope, no, sir. I'll follow the dead body trail. <laughs> What? Where in God's name am I? Is this hell? Will 
Watch me, asshole. Ah, he got me. I've got to admit, this is a lot harder when you can't see what you're supposed to be exercising. Oh, come on, game! Now is not the time for this! This is a bitch. What? I don't even know what that was about. Well, guess we're going into the Silent Hill 4 hole. I can't read that. What the hell is the statue of Baphomet doing all the way down here? They... Ha hate... the light. Yeah, anything that would be doing this would hate the light. Back, you monster. Motherfucker. I get why they did a segment in complete darkness, but really... Sound design. Can you gentlemen fucking not for like 
five fucking seconds. Wait, where's the third? There's three. Now, if you could stay over there, that would be very much appreciated. Get out! hell is this? I can hear the I can hear the noise. It's Father Garcia! So there's in God's name, there he will be among them. Alright, we got ourselves an escort quest. This is actually where I learned that uh, that uh, passage from. Where two or more gathered, there he is amongst them. Oh no, did the game crash again? No, no it didn't. I really hope the Steam version fixes this up. Alright. Ew. Lord, he is my fortress. I do if he I will choose. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. I shall behold the reward of the wicked, because I have made the Lord my refuge. There shall no evil befall me, for he shall give his angels charge over me. They shall bear me up in their hands. And I shall trade upon the serpent, because I have set my love upon him. Therefore will he deliver me. He will deliver me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. The devil's needs a child and so he will be dead. BULLSHIT! There 
shall go in the foggy. For he shall give his angels charge over me. They shall bear me up the air. No! That's not good. Well, okay, we got the, the, we got the middle of the road ending. It's not good, but it's not the worst either. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. My game froze. Well, I'm a sitting duck now. Be gone, and back to hell with you. Walk away, walk away, walk away, walk away. Oh, that's not good. You don't want to be anywhere near that when that happens. Oh, you asshole! Scream more. Alright, step away from the pentagram. You can't have any of that. Fucking homing attack! You're not getting me.
Now she's gonna do that stupid fucking homing attack. How the hell do you dodge that? Yep, there it is again! Go sound like a dial-up modem somewhere else. Alright, we're gonna try something different. Oh great, it froze again. Hello? Game? Okay, so, second, uh, second worst ending. The morning breaks. John, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I will always love you back, Karen. I'm not going in there. Why not? John, it is not too late. Your soul can still be saved. All is not lost. Please wait for my next letter. For now, I have many questions that need answering. Then, in the meantime, be careful. They are watching you. Father Garcia. I survived a nightmare. But did I really do the right thing? I don't know what is real anymore. My face is weak, and I feel a dark shadow over me. If I can save the boys, Maybe I will find what I'm looking for. Road to Redemption. Alright, we're gonna do the worst ending, and then we're gonna do the best ending. Actually, you know what? It's 9.23. I began at, what, 6-something? So yeah, worst ending time, and man is it involved. Holy Jesus. How are we going to like you? I want to go on. You start to hold on till you get better, like you. Can I see mommy and daddy? I need to make you better first. 
You know what? Maybe some other time, because this is getting fucking annoying. Um, but yeah, we had a shorter stream today. I will see you all tomorrow with Flash Friday Spooky Edition. Um, it's not going to be long. It's going to be shorter. But it is super spooky next time. We're not doing zombies. We're doing uh, documenting some hauntings with Ghostscape. I'll see you all there. Have fun.